Hello everyone, this is Roshan Naik. I am with Open Text Application Security. And in this video, we will see how to update SEA Rules Pack. As we now know, Fortify releases Rules Pack every quarter, which is four releases per year. Ideally, it is required to be on the latest rule packs to find the latest vulnerabilities in static code. If you are on older rules pack, chances are it cannot detect some of the new vulnerabilities. We have two means of updating rules, online and offline update. For online, it's uh, straightforward. Whenever we launch audit workbench, it prompts for rules update and we confirm uh, and it will fetch the latest rules and update the repository, something like this. <clears throat> Sometimes due to site restrictions, we cannot do an online update. In such cases, we need to do an offline update for which we need to fetch offline rule pack from support.fortify.com and run a CLI command called fortifyupdate.cmd to do an offline update. Let's look at how to uh, get this rules and uh, uh, do an offline update. So uh, the site is uh, support.fortify.com and uh, uh, we look at the latest uh, rules. The latest uh, Q4 uh, rules are uh, uh, Q1 uh, 2024 rules are this and we click, we look for SEA rules. So we need to download this rules. So while this is downloading, let's uh, switch to the working directory of uh, a Fortify SEA. So uh, let's check what is the current rules in the Fortify working directory. So we need to run the command Fortify update.cmd show installed rules. So if I press enter, so this will give us a listing of what is the current, currently available rules pack. So you can see the current available rules pack is dated. It is on 2023 Q1 rule pack. So uh, we need to update to the latest rules pack. So since this site doesn't permit um, on, online updates, so we look at how to do a offline update. The, the command is 45update.cmd and uh, we run an import to the uh, currently downloaded repository. The command looks something like this. Okay, let me get the command. Okay, that's the command, 45update.cmd hyphen import and the location of the uh, repository file. It's a .zip file. Okay, I press enter. So you can see the security content has been imported successfully. But we need to verify whether it has been updated. So we run the same uh, previous command, 45update.cmd show installed rules. So this basically to verify whether we have uh, updated the rules or not. All right, so as you can see, the previously it was 23Q1, now it's 24Q1. So uh, rules have been updated. So if you have to verify this with any project, you can quickly launch a audit workbench and rerun a quick rescan projects. So for example, um, so in this interest of time, I had already uh, scanned using uh, the latest rule pack. So ideally, what would happen is you would have uh, a previous uh, project with the previous rule pack and you need to quickly rescan with the uh, newer rule pack. So all you need to do is uh, update and do an offline update and rerun the scan with uh, after applying the latest rules and the scan will show you uh, uh, the project uh, will be scanned using the latest rule pack. So as you can see, it is uh, scanning using the latest rule pack. So it can be 
any project which um, was run using a later older uh, rule pack and you wanted to check um, there were some findings which were not listed and you, you know that the latest uh, rule packs has fixed it so it's good uh, that you uh, run after a offline update you re rerun the scan and um, uh, with the latest rules and it will show you um, any new found vulnerabilities so in this case uh, the rescan has been complete and we see uh, no new issues uh, being um, scanned so it's because it's it's already uh, scanned um, and it didn't have any such vulnerabilities so uh, in case you have a project which has uh, issues uh, and the new rules has uh, uh, has fixes in it, so you should be able to find changes after you do a rescan. All right, so you can clearly see that the rule packs have been uh, updated to the latest one. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to sharing more tips for open text application security products.